Good morning students. Plus two Samadhika Shastra online class to get with the article So we are discussing the second chapter of microeconomics, theory of consumer behavior. We are going to talk about the first time in Sukhsma Samadhika Shastra. We are going to talk about the first time in Sukhsma Samadhika Shastra. We discuss about the income effect and the substitution effect. And in this session we are going to discuss about the linear demand function. Linear demand function. So what do you mean by this uh, linear demand function? So the linear demand function is a demand function along a straight line. The linear demand function shows the relationship between the quantity demanded of a commodity and its price. Uru Vastu in the Chodanathi name quantity demanded and its price. So the linear demand function shows the relationship between quantity demanded of a commodity and its price. And there is an equation to represent this uh, linear demand function. Regiya chodana vakrathine kaani kinna alengil express in the uru samavakya thiludiyan. So the, what is that equation? The equation is QD is equal to A minus BP. It's so very important. So the linear demand function expresses in a form of equation. It is QD is equal to A minus BP. Here you know QD is the quantity demanded. QD means the quantity demanded. And this A is actually the horizontal intercept. A in the Parna Karina with a horizontal intercept. That means what will be the quantity demanded of the commodity if the price is zero? Villa Puchamabumbol, quantity demanded a three In the Karnaki Nadane A. So Quantity demanded when price is slow. Villa Pooja Magum Bold Kanikuna Chodana Tinde Alavine and the Brenda Varina A. And see this B means or means negative B means slope of the demand curve. Slope of the demand curve. Okay, and this P denotes price of the commodity or price of the good. So you please study this equation. The equation of the linear demand function is QD is equal to A minus BP where QD denotes the quantity demanded. A means or A denotes the quantity demanded of the commodity when the price is zero. If the good is a free good, how much that good will be consumed? That's why we have to do this. good That is A. Or we can call simply it as horizontal intercept. Horizontal intercept is called in the way of the price. Price is called in the way of the price. That is A. Okay. And minus B is no slope of the demand curve. Minus because the quantity demanded and the price varies inversely. So there will be a negative relationship between the quantity demanded and the price. That is minus B is the slope of the demand curve. And P is the price of the good. Okay. Now we will example today. E equation. Kasuri D pi to minus laka. The linear demand function shows the relationship between the quantity demanded of a commodity and its price. And it can be expressed in the form of equation. It is QD is equal to A minus BP. Suppose 
QD is equal to 60 minus 5P. QD is equal to 60 minus 5P. Okay. This is the same as demand schedule. Create Okay. Suppose QD is equal to 60 minus 5P and we are constructing a demand schedule using this equation. So, how can we construct? You know, demand schedule in the variable board, price and quantity demanded. Okay. And the equation says that when price is zero, quantity demanded is 60 units. You know, QD is equal to 60 minus 5P. This A are low. 60 and the one A are low. That means and then have equation the format QD is equal to A minus uh, A minus B P. So here QD is equal to 60 minus 5P in the variable board. This uh, A is 60 and minus B is minus 5. Okay. So QD is equal to 60 minus 5P. That means A is equal to 60. Is 60 gaani ki when price is zero, 60 units are demanded by the consumer. So, when price is zero, consumer demands 60 units. Okay. Then, suppose the price increased to one. We are constructing the demand schedule. Suppose the price increased to one. You one or uh, rupee at the price kudi. So, we price is substituted in the So, QD is equal to 60 minus 5 into 1. That is 60 minus 5. That is 55. So, QD is equal to 55. When price is 1 rupees, quantity demanded is 55 units. Suppose the price increased to 2. What happens? Now we substitute here QD is equal to 60 minus 5 into 2. Here 60 is A minus 5 into 2. That is 60 minus 10 is equal to 50. So when the price is 2, the quantity demanded is 50. Okay. So when the price is increased to 3, substitute QD is equal to 60 minus 5P. That was 60 minus 5 into 3 that is 60 minus 50 that is 45 so q3 is equal to 45 again when price increase to 4 what will be the qd substitute that money 60 minus 5 into 4 pt power of 4 over that. that is 60 minus 20 that is 40 so it is 40 so see Demand schedule with the demand schedule and the garden when price increases, the quantity demanded falls. Okay, so equation can be critical in a straight linear demand equation. Namaka critical in a Namaka then the demand schedule create and carry menu. Okay. So, QD is equal to 60 minus uh, 5P is a linear demand function. For linear demand is QD is equal to 60 minus 5P. So, next, how can we express this uh, linear demand function graphically? For the next one, we will see how we can So, QD is equal to 60 minus 5P. In the same we will Linear demand function and then we create a demand schedule. See, price, when price is 0, quantity demanded is 60. And when price increased to 1, quantity demanded falls to 55 and so on. So, we created a demand schedule using this linear demand function. And now we are going to express this uh, linear demand function graphically. Okay. So you know, 
x axis and y axis x axis shows the quantity demanded and y axis denotes the price so denote the price in y axis on it is 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay and the quantity demanded in on x axis it is uh, 40 45 50 55 and 60 so when price is zero quantity demanded is 60 so that is when price is zero quantity demanded is 60 this is a you know qd is equal to a minus bp and now the linear demand function equation this a is the 60 so this is the horizontal intercept 60 and now when price increases to 1 quantity demanded falls to 55 so we can plot here then 2 again the price falls to 50 okay and then 3 it is falls to 45 and when price is 4 it falls to 40 and we will get a straight line demand curve but demand uh, linear demand function will be a straight line demand curve okay and uh, the most important feature you have to note here is that the slope of the demand curve remains same throughout the straight line. No, go. If it is 60 minus 5p, and QD is equal to 60 minus 5p, and the linear demand equation. So slope will be is equal to minus 5. Slope will be other than the The straight line demand curve will throughout it will be same. Okay, so that is all about the linear demand function. Linear demand function the equation in the manslakuga it is QD is equal to a minus QD is equal to A minus BP and uh, you can create a demand schedule using this equation okay and show it graphically and it will get a straight line demand curve so that is all about linear demand equation or linear demand function okay thank you